Hey everybody. So this is going to be in reference to the Kubota RTV 1140. If you guys have got one of these uh, RTVs, you know that they're kind of slow going uphill. And you've probably done a little research and found that you can purchase a hand throttle for these RTVs uh, that'll give you a little bit more power going uphill. Well, I've owned mine for about a year and so I wanted to get a hand throttle. But I kept hearing a lot of research that I was doing as well. The Kubota hand throttle does not work on the RTV 1140, despite that it's in the accessory catalog for the RTV. Well, I just, you know, went and bit the bullet and got one just to see if it was going to work. And guess what? It works. Despite the Kubota help desk saying it doesn't work, my dealer saying it doesn't work, thousands of people on forums saying it doesn't work, this is going to fix your problem. You can buy this kit. The kit I purchased is V5245, and it works for the 1140. It will not work the way the directions say it needs to work because they don't even offer the directions for the 1140. They offer it for the Kubota 900, 1100, and the 1120D. So I'm going to show you how we got it routed in here. So there's the hand throttle. It comes with this really ugly washer. Uh, it's not like the nice ones with the uh, sticker that tells you, you know, pull in or push in for slow, pull out for fast. No, nope, it's an 11 16 washer and it's silver, but I did paint it black to make it look a little bit nicer. So you're going to have to take your side panel off, obviously. And this is where the change starts. So they show you in black and white photos and they're photocopied so the resolution is horrible but if you can see this is my cable for my hand throttle okay this is how i have it routed there's a gap right here where the differential cable goes through that's where you're going to want to route the cable through the instructions tell you to route it through this hole right here go through the frame and up and over the battery. Well, just putting the cable through the hole, I found out that that does not work. Kubota's directions tell you to take it and to loop it around this way to your injection pump on this side. That's not gonna work. The cable is not long enough to do it that way, obviously because you've got this whole extra section of seating. So the bad part is, you're going to have to climb under your machine and you're going to have to take your skid plates off to route that cable to the back. So this is the way you want to route it. You can see under here, here's the cable. Make sure it's on top of all the other pieces. Make sure it's on top of all the other pieces. Route it over the coolant hoses. And I found that if you just push it through, it kind of just feeds itself where it needs to go. You can come back later and do all your zip ties. I actually waited to put this in here uh, until after I was done routing the cable. So come around. All right, let me grab my flashlight here so I can give you guys a better view. All right, look at there. So if we look in here, all right, there is my hand throttle kit cable. This little L-shaped bracket comes with the kit to hold the cable. If you're going to read the directions, make sure you're at least reading the directions for the 1120 because the 900 is a little bit different setup. Come down here. There is your throttle linkage. The hand throttle just goes onto it, comes with a washer, another cotter pin, and it just goes onto that same one. I was a little confused at first because 
if you see that little tab right there with the pink, this also can control the throttle. I don't know what it is or what it does, but it also has a hole that looks like a pin would go through it, and you could put the connection there. Honestly, I think it would work better there um, because I have noticed with this cable on that first thing I did was adjust the throttle cable, but my pedal is a little stiffer now. So, I mean, it's manageable. Probably needs to have some adjustment done to it anyway up here. It is a tad bit loose. Um, but that's the only drawback that I found. I've got to take it in for the 50-hour service soon. So I'm going to have them look at everything when I take it in to make sure that I've got it in the right adjustment. You do have to play with it some. And it is a little frustrating to, to get the adjustment on those nuts right. And then also... There is, uh, if you can see those stop nuts right there uh, that are attached to it, those are a little frustrating. And you want to make sure you got those good and tight. Um, biggest word of advice, I trimmed my cable and I was okay, but do not trim the cable until you are absolutely sure that all of your adjustments are correct. I'm okay. I had plenty of slack left, but don't trim that cable until you're sure because if not, you're out 180 bucks. You got to get a new cable. Well, that's it guys. I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, I'm going to zip tie everything down and I hope that gives you some insight. But you, yes, you can get a hand throttle kit for the 1140. Thanks for watching.